Okay, hello everyone. Uh, passing by. I'm trying to talk. That's what happens. Welcome to another video and another truck. Um, so this baby I picked up for 550 bucks, mainly because it doesn't run, uh, doesn't drive. The exhaust is rusted out from under it. It's got a lot of rust in the body, but um, and the interior is not great either. Smells like absolute shat. Uh, the radio plugs are cut. There's ground. <laughs> There's ground wires laying wherever. This door doesn't stay open. It's got a lot of issues, but the one that we're tackling first is that it doesn't run. And uh, also it was in a wreck. The front end was tore up on it. I've already started a little bit. I just disassembled everything basically. I took, there's a plastic piece here that holds in your headlights. Basically there's a plastic piece that goes across here, holds in your headlights and everything. This piece down here is bent. Um, I'm going to try to straighten it. If I can't straighten it, I will pull the one off of the white truck and we'll paint it black. But basically what I want to do with this front end is I don't want to do a whole lot. I don't want to get the truck painted or anything. I'm not even trying, going to try to fix the rust holes. I'm going to pull this off, either get a new one and paint it black or something like that. And uh, we're going to do that all the way across. And then it's going to have black headlight buckets and a black grill. And then just then i'm gonna replace whatever's broken so uh anyways current issue we're having i've been diagnosing this for a little bit now okay so i've been doing a lot of diagnosing on this thing the cooling system was shot been working on it a little bit haven't done a whole lot anyway the reason it won't run we figured out it's getting fuel so fuel's not really an issue the the ignition uh or the spark is we're getting no fire from the cool Okay guys, so I don't know if you saw that, but the distributor is not spinning when the engine is turned over. That is a major problem. So that either means that A, our distributor is broke, or B, our cam is broke. So now we're going to pull the distributor out and see what the damage is. I'm going to remove all these spark plugs and wires and stuff. We're no longer going to need any of that. Just going to disconnect all this coil stuff that I tried to sort out. And yeah, because I'm going to have to redo this whole thing. So, might as well get started. Okay. You may not be able to tell what you're looking at there, but basically this right here is the camshaft um, timing gear. So this thing got out of fiber, I didn't know this, and I went to pull it off and I popped up on the fiber and I actually ended up breaking the fiber off of this metal collet. So now what I'm doing is I'm just kind of grinding away at that metal collet trying to get it down to the cam without actually getting into the cam so that we can get it off so we're going to continue work on that today um, I haven't actually recorded anything for this truck so far because I've been working on this for I don't know how long um, what I may do is I may go ahead and remove the water pump real quick just so that y'all can see what's going on a little bit better uh, I'm going to remove it anyway so it's not that big of a deal so I'm going to go do that real quick
Okay. So I nicked this a little bit, the keyway on the end of the scam. I thought it was replaceable. It's not. Uh, it still feels, there's a lot of the keyway left. It's not almost gone or anything. I just kind of dug into it a little bit with the grinder tool. I think it'll be okay. We're just going to put a cam gear back on it. Um, so now what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to pull this crank gear. And real quick, I've got to go look up actually how to do that because I have no idea how. This one is replaceable. The keyway in that one is replaceable. Uh, it's apparently the cam gear, the one is not, and I thought it was. So, because I almost thought I'd put one in my cam, but anywho. So, yeah. I'm going to go take care of that real quick. And then I'll get back to it. I'm going to figure out how to remove this cam gear. So I pulled the condenser up, removed the bolts from it so that you could actually see what we're dealing with here. So this was the cam plate we just removed. As you can see, it looks okay. Uh, the cam is a little nicked, like I said, but there's nothing, it doesn't look like it does anything too bad. Uh, so now we just have this here, and you can see these two bolts at the bottom right here. Okay, and I forgot the lens cover was closed. Hi. Ah. So basically, what is going on here? And there's so much debris. I'm, we have to pull the. We have to remove the oil pan, by the way. Um, but anyway, I got this. I got this truck. Uh, the distributor would not spin, so I went and checked it out, and it turns out the cam and crank gear were both or the cam gear was actually sheared off uh I'm, yeah there is actually a piece here uh, of it you can see it actually looks like it may have gotten too hot and sheared the gears off i don't know if you can see that but yeah it actually sheared the gears off of it. Oh, this thing's broke that was my fault i broke it taking it apart but yeah we're going back with aluminum gears uh, and like I said before, uh, I actually messed this up taking them off, but I think it's okay. It doesn't look too bad. I've definitely seen worse run, so we're going to go with that. Uh, we're going to take a tap and run through all the holes to the front cover and water pump. So I'm going to go to the parts store, buy new cam gears, water pump, and, a front, and the front cover seal, and an oil pan gasket. And uh, yeah, maybe try to get this thing buttoned up today. Alright, so... There are a couple ways you can go about doing the timing. But no matter what, you have to make sure that you line up these two dots. Now, and back this bolt out. 
Now, now you're going to use this bolt to turn the crank. Okay, because you're going to have to turn the crank and you're going to have to turn the cam. So, your new gears, obviously, the ones that I bought weren't aluminum. They were upgraded from the original. When you get your new gears, they'll come in a box like this, hopefully. And, uh, they're going to have two gears in here. So, first thing you're going to have is this big one. A lot of people think this big one is the crankshaft gear. That would be incorrect. This is actually the camshaft gear. Okay? And uh, we'll look at it in a minute and figure out which way it goes. I'm figuring it goes that way. But anyway, that is the cam gear. And this is the crank gear, okay? This is the one we're starting with. Alright? So, what we're going to do, and always make sure you replace uh, timing stuff in sets. You don't don't just replace one gear. Go ahead and replace both of them. So and, and like that, the cam gear is not all the way on, but it is started. Okay. So with it being started on that shaft, we can put this one in. Right. Okay, but if you'll notice real quick, on this gear, there's a tiny dot right there. This gear, there's another dot, okay? If you notice, there's not a dot on the other side. So the dot, so the side with the dot is going to face towards me, okay, or towards you. So those two dots have to line up, right? So if my cam, this gear can go on like that, okay? That one should slide over that. But basically, this is going to have to line up with that. We started. Oh, okay. okay. So if you notice, this is like this right now. If I move it this way, if I move it that way, it's hard to tell, but it pushes up, okay? And this dot on the crankshaft gets to about this position. Okay, the dot right here gets to about this position. And that would be about right for the crank to line up, or for the cam gear to line up. Because for the cam gear to line up, yeah, I mean, that's actually perfect right there. That's actually absolutely perfect. So, with that, we can actually go ahead and smack on our cam here okay so I got them set it took a lot of effort uh, I've never done this before so I'm kind of going to this together but basically what I did is I got a bolt that was threaded into the end of that crankshaft or I'm sorry camshaft and uh, I can figure out where I set it oh it's literally right there I'm done so right here this is what I did uh, as you can see it put a lot of pressure on these washers, um, but it did press it on a good ways. And uh, yeah, so basically all I did was I just thread this in and I just kind of used these to press it the rest of the way on. Um, like I said, it is probably going to screw up the washers. There's probably There might be a tool you can buy. If there is, I recommend it. Um, but it actually shows in the instructions to heat these up in water for like 15 minutes um, to get them to go on.
If you're gonna buy this stuff, I definitely recommend trying to buy some sturdier washers, maybe. Because <laughs> these washers are what actually is causing my problem. Because they were actually bottoming it out because they were beveled in so bad. So I'm gonna change up that washer setup. But regardless, that's pressed on pretty far. All right, so we're working on the crank gear. So zoom in on it real quick. Now, you'll notice I have the old one kind of over the new one. Okay, so when we drive it on, we're not hitting on the new gear, we're hitting on the old gear. Okay, it's kind of a prevention thing. So, let's get it going. Something to, uh, help just in case you're you know skeptical and want to give the best chance of scat if you take a little bit of the engine oil because after you do this obviously you're dropping the oil pan because you have to clean out the oil pan anyway so you're going to change the motor oil pour a little bit of your new oil on that gear just a little bit you gotta have a lot just so that if you know moving it on it doesn't try to shred any aluminum that that oil gives it a little bit of a barrier to help everything to move okay it doesn't matter if you get it everywhere, this is, you know, mechanic and work where it's going to get dirty. I just want to confirm that what we've done has not been a waste of my entire life. Entire last two weeks. I'm hoping that it isn't. It still could very well possibly be. Okay. Okay, Michaela, is this the recording? Awesome. You can't see because of the thing, but the dots. The thing's like literally right there. Okay. As you can see, the dots are lined up. So. Theoretically, when we spin this motor, everything should work. Yep. It spins. Yes, it spins. Nothing exploded. Alright, hopefully we have no valve to piston contact. That's what I'm trying to confirm. Alright, you ready? Yep. Nothing changed. That's awesome. Okay, so I wanted to thank everyone very much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a like and subscribe. Uh, in the next video, we will be putting on the timing cover, and uh, we have to actually drop the oil pan out from underneath it because there is still material from when that timing gear wore off down in the pan. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna have we're gonna have to work on getting that out. So, um, yeah, like once again, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.